So, hello everybody. We have started uh, turn 9 in Barbarossa Army Group Center. Um, the Germans and Russians are in good mood to battle this fight to an end. Uh, the German troops are coming from Brest-Litovsk in the far west and over Brokno and Vilnius to Minsk. They encircled Minsk in the last two turns and um, going with the Panzer groups. Panzer group in the south is led by Guderian over Bobruisk, direction of Gommel or Mogilev. He has to decide what to do now. And in the north with the Panzergruppe Hot, um, coming from Vilnius, uh, surrounding Minsk in the northern part, and going to Vitebsk and Osha. And the main goal is Vyasma and Smolensk. Yeah, the situation uh, is uh, the following the Germans um, are out of supply because the supply line is too short. They, uh, the road here in the northern part ends just nowhere and had no connection to other roads. So here in the north, all things depending yeah, on, the, on the army group, army group north, the other game in the, the series, because they conducted it a little bit better. They took Dünaburg here on the Düna River um, much faster. An army group center, and in the next or in this round, uh, I got this um, this railhead at this position here. Uh, but my troops can, couldn't use it because um, they are too slow to in advancing, and uh, so I have to to do more efforts here in this uh, sector. But yeah, as you can see, all are out of supply, and uh, even one off clearance unit is catched and bottled from Russian troops. Um, for two turns or for last turn, I thought that uh, this uh, Russian engineer unit was bottled by these uh, units. But yeah, so many Russian troops uh, coming out of, of nowhere, and um, it's crazy. Uh, the Russian get more and more troops here, but they are also dispersed and not stacked, so the Germans have good chances when they reopen the supply line, and this could happen if. if um, um, succeed that this round Minsk has to fall and then I can advance these railhead six hexes to Minsk and then here are the roads are open to the northern sector and over this uh, Rollbahn, this motorway um, and all these troops come in supply as well. But now, nowadays it's, um, uh, it's a round where something has to be decided for the Germans. They have to do an all-out all attack uh, against Minsk to yeah to open the supply line. This is the the main task, and the other task is here in the southern sector. As you can see, here is a little bit um, yeah not so not so dense line from the Russians and uh, Panzer troops here coming over the over the Berezina River. There was no possibility to um, to hold it up, but better said. Uh, the Panzer cannot uh, go over the river, but the, the motorized regiments can do it. And um, yes, so yeah, it's a little bit uh, to do. But yeah, I think the whole situation is not uh, as bad for the, for the Germans. They have all the troops together. They can open the supply line and then cut through this line to yeah, hopefully um, come over this um, Dnieper line, Dnieper river. Then, uh, if this doesn't succeed to come over this river, then I think the Russians had a good stand there, and um, it will be hard for the Germans to, to go further. So, this is my short recapture of the first nine turns. I think the Germans have done it quite well, but yeah, in the northern sector, you see the army group North does it better, and uh, yeah, I have to look. Um, in the scenario book is, uh, I think, scenario 8 or so, or 10, I don't know how much. Um, what starts at uh, turn 10 and uh, where the Germans 
um, has to be then historically. Okay, bye bye.